Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to enable the new Spotlight UI with three different variants in Windows 11 build 25,281. Well, Microsoft has been testing out the Windows Spotlight theme and the wallpapers and of course the new UI, but in this build 25,281, we finally get a more polished version of that design and of course, different variants to that design. If you enjoy videos like these in which I show you how to enable different header features in Windows 11, Please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, of course, we're going to have to set up Vive tool on our computer to enable those IDs. And you're going to have to download Vive tool from the article below in the video description. You're going to have a download link there. Just go ahead and download the latest version.zip and you can just open it up with File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse and extract it into the System32 location in this PC local disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to System32, select it, click on Select Folder, and then on Extract. I'm gonna have to replace the files, click on Continue a few times, and Vive Tool will be set up on my computer. After we set up Vive Tool, we're gonna have to open up the search box, type in here CMD, and then click on Run as Administrator. On User Account Control, click on Yes. In the CMD, we're gonna have to copy and paste in a few commands. Shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 for discovering the IDs and also testing out different variants of this. We're gonna have his Twitter link in a pinned comment and make sure to follow him because he does a great job and provides a lot of useful information about hidden features in Windows 11. So let's just start out, copy and paste in the first command. And of course, after you run each command, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. As you can see, the second command is the command that will enable us to have different variants of the UI. So we have three variants, zero, one, and three. We're just gonna run the zero variant for now and then press enter, of course. Then the third command, the fourth one, and the fifth command is the command that will change the location of the learn more about this picture icon. So again, you have three variants, zero or one, two and three, and I'm just gonna run the first one, press enter, and of course, we're gonna test out all the other variants to show you how it looks. And now after you run all these commands, you can exit out of the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. And after the restart, we can right click on our desktop and then go to personalize. And then you can either select the Windows Spotlight theme or go to background and then select from here Windows Spotlight. And as you can see, the wallpaper was changed instantly. And we have here at the bottom, learn more about this picture, which is in the bottom right corner. If we right click on this button, we will see the new UI, which is pretty nice in my opinion. It has some nice wallpapers previewed here that we can switch to, of course, if we click on them with info about a certain picture, for example, the Pina Palace in Central Portugal with copyright, of course, learn more. And also you have the option to map it see more photos when what is it build or explore Portugal, which is really interesting. Of course, I'm on a higher DPI and that's why these buttons are a little bit behind this section. But of course, this is something that Microsoft will work on, but I think we have a slider. Yeah, and that's really, really nice. And we also have a minimized view, which is this one. I think this looks really nice with two buttons in which we can switch to the next photo. We can thumbs up or thumbs down the picture, learn more X and also the expanded view. As you can see, this is the first variant of the UI and also first variant of the location of the learn more about this picture icon. Now let's go into the CMD, open it up as administrator yet again. And to test out the other UI variants and also the location, we're just gonna change up the second and the fifth command. And we're gonna run the first variant here variant one and for the fifth command, the variant two. Of course, yet again, restart the system for the changes to take effect. After the restart, you should see the changed location of the learn more about this picture button. But of course, even if you don't like the location, you can just switch it up using your mouse. It's not really a problem. But if you right click on this, we're gonna see another variant of the Spotlight UI. And as you can see here, this is, I think, a bit nicer in my opinion. We have uh, the same information, but with a different design with the information, the pictures, these buttons, the minimized view that will just go near the learn more about this picture button. I think this is really nice with the thumbs up with the thumbs down. I think this is also a really nice version of this. And now for the final test, we're going to open up the CMD as administrator yet again. And then we're going to see the third variant of this design. Just run this command, basically the second command with the variant three. And I'm not going to run the command that changes up the location of this button because of course, as you saw, you can manually move it if you want. Press enter 
restart the system and let's see how the final variant of the UI for the spotlight will look. And after the restart, let's right click on the button and you'll see that the UI is pretty much the same as in the previous variant, but the taskbar and also that icon will disappear, letting you be a little bit more focused on this UI. And I think this is pretty, pretty cool. So of course, if you want to enable this new spotlight UI and you are on the latest dev channel build 25,281, you can just go ahead and download Vive tool from the article below in the video description. And also you can get the commands from there. Just copy and paste them from there because I provide all the commands there. And yet again, a big thanks to Phantom Ocean 3 for the IDs. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.